Alright guys, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Need for Speed Hot Pursuit series and today we're going to be driving the Porsche 911 Targa 4S and this is a pretty cool car. It's got a pretty much a entire glass roof so it looks like it's got one piece of glass going from the trunk to the front windshield. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we're going up against, I think it was a Mustang Shelby. I don't know if I remember. Oh, I think, yeah, it is a Shelby. So yeah, this car is not having any problems catching up to the Shelby. It just nos you, I just hit the NOS and then it's just still so it's like see ya fool. Yeah, it's raining right now, so it's crazy rain. I'm pretty sure you weather right now. Look at the moon guys in this game. I mean, it just looks amazing. This game, the graphics are just absolutely amazing in this game. This cleats this uh, uh 911 is pretty fast. Minus the extra weight that they added onto it, for, with the glass and stuff like that. And that Mustang's really having trouble keeping up with because it's so heavy. I cannot see the lightning. All I can see is the flashes. I can't actually see the lightning in the sky. So I can't tell if it's real. Now there's the moon again. Crash into that wall like a total new. Use a shortcut. It'd be nice if we could actually drop that thing down, the, ho the hotel thing down, the little patio hotel thing down, so that you can uh, stop, slow down a racer that you're going up against, or you know, kill a cop. Well, not kill, take, uh, destroy his car, basically. But yeah, that'd be nice if we could do that, like in the speed, uh, in the speed world, or uh, in the speed most wanted in 2005. So, going good. Staying pretty far ahead of that GT500. So, this area of the map is pretty cool. I mean, that, this is probably the police the police area because uh, there's. Actually, that's the lifeguard area, possibly, since there's lifeguard helicopters. There, there's, even, there's even one flying over there. Here's another shortcut I took. This car slides pretty well during the So, into the tunnel. This is quite an enjoyable car, to say, and then I took this shortcut. As well. I don't think this is really much of a shortcut. It's probably slow as down, but whatever. So, still keeping on going in first place, and here's another shortcut that I took. And then I actually exit out of the shortcut right around now because there's a pretty, pretty, pretty bad turn right there. You see where the shortcut turns go? That's a really bad turn. You can crash yourself out and lose a race with that. So I suggest just exiting out of that and don't even bother going through that corner because it'll just, it'll just crash out and it'll also slow you down as well. You lose a lot of speed. So, okay, not So, still in first place, doing really well. They closed that little area off to 6 Aguilar. I can, t I can probably see why, because it's too, you lose a lot of speed on that. So, there's the finish line, and we win! Is that snow? I saw snow. Okay, now we're taking the Lamborghini Super Legera, the comp edition. And this is a really cool car. This is actually in my channel trailer that Pripsy helped me make. He gave me some inspiration to help me out with it, and uh, it turned out really well, actually. I have to thank Prepsy again right now. Thanks, Prepsy. So we're going up against the Mustang, uh, Mustang GT500. Sorry, my throat's a little dry from talking so much. So anyway, we're he's uh, we're not having trouble keeping up with this guy. This thing's got like crazy acceleration, zero to sixty in three point four seconds. That's just and that's for us, a car with my lap. We're about to EMP him, and BOOM! Contact. Hit him in the back, nope. Hit him from the side, actually. I do not have spike strips, so I can't hit him with spike strips. Check out spike strips. So I do have EMP there. Oh, you know, like, oh that was a spike strip he dropped. It'd be funny if we could actually push them into their own spike strips. Just take 
Turn around again. You sneaky little fool. Care about the EMP? Oh, that hit him perfectly. Causing the swerve out of control. And boom! He's dead. Alrighty, guys, that's it for this episode. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Bye!